So last week, there was what I believe to be an example of misguided energy. Oh, yeah? How so? Based on good intentions. Well, let's start with this post here. Somebody posted that they had been in Ross Dress for Less, and it was just a mess. Mm -hmm. Eh. Um, uh, It was kind of sad. It was sad to see. Right, right. But then, for whatever reason, the Idaho Falls Chamber of Commerce, or at least somebody on it, not going to name names, but they posted like a, hey, I went into the store and um, I spent 10 minutes putting things away, and you should too. And mm. and they made kind of a big deal, you know, share this post. And they're not even a member of the Idaho Falls Chamber of Commerce, but we're helping them out anyway because our mission is to help businesses. What? Right. That seems... I'm so confused yeah. by this. Yeah. I mean, okay, there is a part of me that gets it because like, you know, if I'm ever taking out my niece and nephew somewhere and they pick something up and try to put it back somewhere it doesn't go, I'm like, absolutely not. Put that back where you found it, not where you want to put it. That's rude. Right. Don't do that to people. Yeah. When you see something, you know, some frozen meat sitting in the cereal aisle. Right. (laughs) Right. That kind of stuff drives me absolutely nuts as someone who who worked in retail, (laughs) especially because it's not that hard. You're five feet away. It's so easy to just put it back where you found it. You, you did know? work in retail, so how would you feel if complete strangers came into the store with no intent to buy, but to put things back where they think it goes? Yeah, that would drive me even more nuts. I mean, I guess it's great that their heart's in the right place, and also, absolutely, no, like heart's in the right place. The thing is, chances are they're ju- we're just gonna have to go back after you and redo it anyway. So I guess the story was all the employees were up front helping people check out. Right. And there was nobody, you know, minding the store, so to speak. And let's be honest here. There was probably someone who was either letting their kids run amok or who was just being a douchebag who doesn't know how to clean up after themselves. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. People are the worst. Yeah. People are the worst. (laughs) I agree. Yeah. I mean, realistically, there's no reason that the store should have ever gotten into that condition, even with all the employees up front. Uh Aha. And let's talk about why I think this is misguided energy. Mm Mm-hmm. Ross Dress for Less is not Ross Park. Right. It doesn't, It if Ross Park needed cleaned up. Right. And I understand even in certain extenuating circumstances, mm-hmm. speaking of Ross Park, when their pipe burst. Right. The second to the last weekend before they closed for the summer. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, they could use some help. Yeah. Uh, when Reed's Dairy burns down. Yes. Absolutely, they could use some help. Right. Ross is a multi-billion dollar company. Yes. And apparently the store here in Idaho Falls is being poorly run. Well, and not only that. This isn't, when you when you put on your Superman cape and rush to save them from their own quagmire, mm-hmm. they're a business. They're not a charity. Yes. And not only that, it might not even be the locals who are poorly running the place. It's probably corporate. Yeah. You know, it says it's you can have X amount saying, of hours Exactly. For this you can store. have this many employees, you can have this many hours, and that's it. And yeah. they recognize that they need that manpower up front and that the store can get messy and it's going to be okay because they can clean it later. Now, nothing you know? against the Chamber of Commerce. I'm not necessarily calling them out. Oh, I'm, no. I'm not criticizing them. I'm just describing them. Well, and, and also, as someone who worked in a retail business where corporate did mandate what hours we could Mm -hmm. have having solid examples like that saying hey this is how our store looks on days when you only allow us to have this many employees we need more that is such a handy tool it's so much more helpful to take that solid evidence to corporate and explain to them why you need more so that you can pay your employees more rather than you know, not being able to have that because someone came in and cleaned it up. Well, and I think with all the people sharing the post and everything, right. That it, um, it more served to shame Ross dress for less. Yeah. Which I would say is a good thing. I mean, kind of, if you're, you know, corporate, right. Yeah. If you're running your business so poorly that it's difficult to navigate the aisles because Mm -hmm. shit's thrown around everywhere. Right. It looks like a tornadoes, a tortado zone. (laughs) You know, that's that's your problem. Right. Business. Mm-hmm. Business owner. I don't mean to say I don't have any sympathy for them. No. I don't think any store should be overrun by hooligans. No, of course not. But kind of your problem to fix. Right. Well, and this is an opportunity Isn't for it? job creation, too. You know, because there's this, you know, 
egg on their face where they look stupid because they didn't have enough employees. Now they might go to that manager and say, okay, finally you can, you can hire a couple more folks, Yeah, you know, versus if volunteers go in and help out this multi-billion dollar company and then people who are looking for jobs can't get jobs. The, uh, the thing jumped the shark though, when somebody created a help clean up Ross dress for less event <laughs> for last Saturday, this past Saturday. Right. I was, I just, my eyes rolled so far in the back of my head <laughs> that I couldn't see. Yeah. Um, and then my buddy Brad pointed out, who has, I guess, more awareness than I do, total joke. Right. The account was created that day. Okay. Yeah. Fake name. Mm-hmm. But the guy created the event as a joke. So Brad asked Chat GPT to write a sort of We Are the World. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Type song. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here are the lyrics. In the aisles where the deals are gold, there's a story that's too often told. A bargain hunter's dream, but at what cost? When we leave a mess, we know what's lost. Clothes on the floor, shoes tossed aside, empty hangers where the deals reside. We've got to change. We've got to care. Let's leave the store in a way that's fair. Clean up the racks. Pick up the stacks. Leave Ross shining bright and never look back. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> why am I doing this? I got a microphone right here. Uh, yeah, why are you doing that? I have this, too. <laughs> Double microphone? It's more than a store. It's a place we all share. Mm. Uh, let's treat it with love. Show that we care. Brilliant, buddy. Mm. Just brilliant. Good stuff. Yeah, maybe we need to get... <laughs> Who are the people that did We Are the World? I don't even know. <laughs> Artists for USA for Africa or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Idahoans for Ross. <laughs> there we go. But seriously, come on. I uh, I just want to put a nice tidy bow on this and say billion dollar companies do not deserve our free labor. charity. They yeah. don't deserve free labor. What are we teaching them? Right. If we come on. Yeah. I think it's time to break out this meme that I saw just recently. Mm -hmm. I'll read it to you, or you can screenshot it here on YouTube. It says, silence, brand. I am a living being with a divine intellect and an immortal soul. You are a soulless mega corporation attempting to infiltrate my psyche by pretending to be human on social media. I do not want your products. I do not want your services. Do not speak to me. <laughs> Honestly, I love that. <laughs> 